Hello, I'm Maria Soto and this is my interview project. So I'm going to pretty much be reading it, everything out loud I have in the slideshow presentation, give you some animation with my voice. So let's continue on. And our special guest is Case Hinesley. Yay! So Case is my best friend's brother. He is... One out of ten, give him like a six and cool. Um, he right now currently is attending University of Florida and he's a current sophomore and but he started through Santa Fe program. So many of his classes through Santa Fe um were smaller and it wasn't like doing like a big lecture hall. It was a smaller one. So what's his major i asked him and he was like oh environmental engineer and i was like oh are you planning on changing it and he was like no like fully serious very wacky to see that a person knowing what they're gonna do in their lives really amazing and i asked why that one <laughs> lol but he enjoyed mp environmental in high school plus he likes math and science and so what profession will you pursue after graduation and he plans to pursue becoming an engineer manager for a firm and then he also quoted or i don't know but i didn't want to put that because you know and will this require to continue your education he said most likely he's going to continue in doing a, a combined master's degree at uf but he did say to me that he was like i don't want to do it though so We'll see what Mr. Hinesley does. So, and now the question we have all been waiting for. How many math classes did or will you take in college? So because he's an environmental engineer, he has to take so many math classes. So he has taken calculus two, calculus three, differential equations, engineering statistics, physics one, physics two, and statics. And he's gonna take, cause he's, um, I. The, um, the classes after sophomore year, the junior and senior year, are more um, more AP environmental, like super specific to AP environmental science. So Case only has one more math less, and it's math left. It is computational methods and environmental engineer. So let's choose one to talk about. Let's do calculus two. So calculus two... Um, how many weekly lectures he would have? He would have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, each be 50 minutes. How many discussions a week? He said that on Tuesdays, um, there would be a one-hour, extra-hour discussion. And then number of students in the lecture was a between 16 to 20, because I told you it's small because it's in Santa Fe. And the discussion was around 30 people. So that was, I'm, I'm guessing it was a mix between two different classes. And how were assignments given? So, meaning were assignments like, oh, yeah, they're not assigned. They're, they're, there's no grading. No, he said all of them are worth a grade. Um, how much time each week doing assignments? This one I had to pull it out. I'd be like, oh, I mean, like, how much would you study? How much that? And he, like, averaged it to three hours. And how many exams did you take? Three. Three per class? Oh, that's scary. So, then... Last two questions about calculus two is what format were the exams given? And it was a mix of multiple choice and short answer, but pff, majority is short answer, but we all knew that. And then what was the weight of the grades? It's 50% homework, 25% quizzes, and 60% test. So now let's shift the attention to me. Um, will I be attending UF? Mm, no. I will not. Sorry, Miss Chris Weiser, but I'm actually going to attend FSU. You can gag. It's okay. Um, I'm very happy I'm going there. And I'm not interested in environmental science after seeing so many math classes and seeing that none of them, while I read them, I didn't have a, ooh, that class would be interesting. And I really don't want to I want to enjoy my major. I don't want to be like, this is the worst thing ever. What did I learn? Basis interview. First, I don't want to be an environmental engineer. But also, how many... Um, I, I really did not know how specific the classes got after junior year and senior year. 
I mean, I always knew that you're going to like your group of like people that are want to studying the same thing is going to like specify more. But I was very shocked. There was like so many classes of just being like environmental science, something small about it, though. And it was just I, I thought that was really interesting, especially since Case like loves it. So then he's just going to be learning what he loves, which is like if I can find that, that's pretty awesome. Um, my college plans are actually, yes, they're set for FSU. Um, I have, I already paid the deposit. I'm going to be rooming and I'm going to be dorming and I'm going to attend on fall, not summer and FSU. And I'm really, really excited. And I have not thought of what career I want. I am still experimenting. I'm going to enter as a psychology major because I feel like that's going to introduce me to classes that I'm going to enjoy and then I'm going to be able to like branch out of that to find a different class because I'm not I'm planning on changing it but that's how um what I'm entering with and I learned with creating the budget that Florida prepaid is a blessing in this it's a it's a blessing that I don't know how um people don't take it it's just amazes me and um it wasn't that bad. I always, I'm always very scared of like creating budgets because I feel like I'm really bad with money. But then I just did it and I was just like, oh, I can do this. Okay. So then right after, um, for psychology, I looked it up on FSU and here is the psychology track and I don't see so many math classes, which is great, but I see statistics. No, you don't know about statistics. And then we have, this is, the geometry and calculus two class for case in uf and then this is my budget with a lot of money in thank god because i am from florida prepaid bright futures and help from my parents and then a summer job because i am going to plan on um doing work on june and money out <laughs> the money out so here with the i was able to find a net, a net calculator in fsu and these numbers like i all added um through that and yes i have an income of 2860 and these are my mla sources and that's my final presentation thank you so much for watching me ramble about everything and yeah thank you so much have a good one miss chris weiser